welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog i wanted to start today's vlog with a bit of cleaning because as you guys know i've been talking about it the last couple of weeks over the next couple of weeks we're hosting lots of friends and family obviously we're in a newly renovated house so to finally be able to host a family and friends to stop overnight and spend some time quality time together um yeah i need to get organized in terms of a bit of a house clean so that's going to be this morning i'm also going to introduce you to our new family member he's called dustin you guys are gonna love him so i am actually working with phillips on today's video i have very kindly sent over the phillips 7000 series robot vacuum and you guys know the drill i have a dog barney he's a golden retriever he likes to get his paws muddy and it is just one huge he can hear his name <laughs> instead he's just like shot out of it it's a huge helping hand guys honestly we have been looking at investing in one of these anyway so to work with them it's just literally a dream collaboration because it just is the perfect household item addition i'm just so grateful for it just really helps with my cleaning routine my daily cleaning routine as well because that is one thing like i say having a golden retriever with the fur the muddy paws to be able to have that extra helping hand dustin love him um he is great i will show you guys dustin in action and i'll also leave a link to him below our new family member overall thumbs up absolute essential in our household now couldn't live without him yeah we're going to do a bit of a spruce of this area and a bit of a clean and a tidy up i'm going to show you guys him in action and then i think i'm going to go to the markets for like lunch late lunch um and then i'm going to get ready because we're actually got a girls night and yeah we're going to get glam on party season so make sure you're ready with a nice cozy drink and enjoy the rest of today's vlog so from the moment we opened this box, it has changed our lives dramatically, just made cleaning so, so much easier. So as you can see, this one in particular has the QR code, which allows you to set up to the app, the Philips Home Run app, um, where you can connect your device and create an account, which just makes things so much easier, having it all to hand on your phone. As you can see, the little mop pad underneath, this one is a vacuum and mop, which is all the more perfect for our house with our mucky pup, our muddy paws that seem to run in from the garden. So once you've downloaded the app, you can scan the QR code to connect your home run robot, and this basically connects to your Wi-Fi. And then once the device is connected, you can pick its language and the volume that it speaks to you at. Obviously, we've gone for English. You can also name him like we have done with Dustin. You get the uh, dust bags in the top and having that auto empty station again just makes life so much easier. You can see the on off buttons here on the device itself. But like I said, I always just use the app to control everything. It just makes things so much easier. As you can see, we have it stored within our pantry. Now that it's in place, and all set up we are ready to map the device so essentially you can start mapping after you've tidied away any small objects you can close the doors to the rooms that you don't want to be included within the map and also set up no mop zone so as you can see he's just doing his thing scanning all of the rooms another thing that i will mention with barney i wasn't sure how he would be but honestly they just keep out out of each other's ways which is just perfect knowing that they won't get in each other's ways i wasn't sure if he was going to think it was a toy that he could play with but no he keeps himself to himself and allows dustin to just do his thing which as you can see he gets right under um, any furniture that we need him to we can um, again set up areas where if we don't want him to be we can do that and honestly it's just so simple that's the main thing i can't get over is how easy it is you can see him mapping out the section here with the floor plan and it was really interesting i was literally following it around the entire time whilst it was doing this mapping so here we have the rug down which obviously we have set as a no mop zone just to make sure that obviously our rug stays nice and dry and free from 
the mopping section. You can see here with the white lines and track where he has been. Um, and yeah, this is him going back to his home, his little hub where he can charge. He has up to 180 minutes battery life on a single charge. And then once it's mapped, you can see all the different rooms. We've got the corridor section, the room he's in, the pantry. We've got the small downstairs loo as well. And then the main blue section as the sort of main room. You can see where the no mop zones are for the island and the sofa and the rug area. Just making life that much easier, knowing that it's not going to get stuck to any small objects. And then you do have a regular clean, which we have set up. Or you can do a custom where you can change the different suction levels mop wetness, the repetition amounts, or you could do a zone clean whereby maybe just by the back door where it gets extra muddy pores. Or for instance, this one where you have a spot clean for um, example around the island where we're cooking more, we may have a bit of specific spillage that we want cleaning up. So you can do wet and dry, dry, quiet or intensive mode. And the app also tells you the battery life left. This is Dustin en route home, avoiding the small objects using the 360 degree laser navigation and smart detection technology. We have a scheduled cleaning session on ours whereby we have it set every day at half past midnight to be able to do the regular clean. So we can come down in the morning knowing that everything is done. So that is our new best friend. Now that he is all set up and ready to go, let's get on with the rest of the clean. I feel like a true sign of aging is, or adulting I should say, is loading and reloading the dishwasher. I feel like it's a constant thing. However, I still do not take it for granted to this day. Living in the renovations, just having a dishwasher is such a luxury now. So yes, count my blessings every single day. So just starting by unloading, reloading the dishwasher, and then I'm going to give all the surfaces a bit of a spray down. I tend to go to uh, two different sprays. So I've got glass cleaner, which I use on the hob and glass and mirrored surfaces. And then like an all purpose cleaner, which I use on all the surfaces, including the island and also the back worktops as well as like cupboards, handles, that kind of stuff. Another area that we find we have to wipe down, again, just using my glass cleaner, is the crystal doors as well as obviously the oven doors. I really needed to give the ovens a deep clean on the inside, but I feel like that's a job for another day. And I'm just gonna spruce up the sofa, plump up the cushions, and we're done. Jumper has come off. Does anyone else get really hot when you get any clean? It's actually like a workout. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna head off to the markets quickly, see what they have, maybe grab something to eat. I really want to hunt down the crumble, like apple crumble. Looks amazing. It's already getting a little bit dark. I know you can't really tell on camera, but yeah, crazy winter weather. And then we're gonna get back, hair wash, get ready for tonight, and yeah, first stop market. We're out the shower, we are freshly clean, feeling good, and I need to decide what I'm wearing. So I've got two options. I have two kind of events, occasions, dinners, things that we're going to this week. So tonight, it's a Saturday, so I'm feeling it's maybe the dressier option of the two. The black blazer, which I could wear with both actually, because I'm gonna need a layer to keep warm. Um, but I've got, no, not that top. Well, possibly that top, we'll see. The main kind of focus with these, 
for this outfit is my what I like to call astronaut pants. <laughs> Very, you know, party vibes. Paired with a plain black bodysuit. I think I might go with that one on the Thursday because it's a school night. It's maybe a bit more chill. The place we're going is a bit more chill. So trousers, top, blazer. Now, the other option that I've got is basically that outfit in reverse. So we've got sparkles on top and not a lot of top <laughs> with it. Like, oh, I've got to be brave to wear this. Um, I've got these trousers, which are basically just a wide leg. I got these in a long leg liner as well, just to be able to wear them with heels. So this is just like a little top that's quite racy, I would say for me. So hair and makeup, I'm thinking possibly usual hair. And I maybe just pop a couple of rollers in the front just for a bit of added volume. Down, bouncy, curly. Might do that first before doing my makeup. And then makeup, I'm thinking my usual, but maybe a little bit more shimmery on the eyes. And then we'll see how we feel with jewellery once we've got the clothes on. But yeah, we're all ready to start getting ready. Just done a pre-shower meditate as well just to zen lydia's gonna come here and then we're gonna go together and then meet about eight girls there maybe a few less so i don't know if anyone else is driving too or not but i'm not a big drinker so i said i'll drive us and then have a couple of mocktails or something and then yeah i'll drive us home so i'm just gonna play it by ear whether or not i go out with the girls afterwards depending on who goes out i don't know if everyone will go out 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 um but God, I don't know if I'll ever step foot in a club again. Like an actual club. I'm going to be home before then, for sure. But yeah, we've got a bit of shimmer on tonight. We've got a bit of glitz and glam. So time to get this a bit more glam. I do need to find some heels, actually. I'm just thinking then. I don't actually know where they are. The ones that I'm thinking I'm going to wear. I'll just pop a bit of moisturiser on it down the neck i've popped a bit of tan on actually last night and the you know the face drops that i've told you guys about before so we're looking a little bronzed on the old face and neck area and i just kind of dragged it down my chest and shoulders because i've got that top on but my legs are covered so i didn't do like a full a full-blown fake tan routine because i didn't feel like it was needed i haven't shaved my legs there's no need to um it's a bit of a treat when you wear trousers actually instead of a dress but i'm because i'm like virtually skin out on top i thought i would feel more comfortable if i just pop um pop some trousers on let the time lapse begin because I'm watching love island australia at the minute i've got a couple of episodes to catch up on Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing, is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Just realized sorry i didn't vlog of um any of my hair being done i was just on the phone to my mum for ages and started doing my hair and then just finished it just got off the phone with her and was like oh i didn't show you guys what i've done but i've essentially just curled the bottom parts like as normal and just like pink curled and with the top section i've just popped a load of rollers in just to help give a little volume whilst i do my makeup and like finish getting ready so that hopefully they will stay there I might just pop a bit of hairspray on actually our table's at half five which going out for a christmas too we were aiming for seven but everywhere was full um but i'm actually quite glad it's half five because i don't know about you but this is the closest I get in relation to when people say they suffer with SADS or whatever it is, seasonal, whatever, um, and that they don't like it. I love the cozy evenings, but if I have anything on, like tonight, I end up feeling like it's a lot later than what it is because of how dark it gets, and it ends up feeling like by four o'clock I start feeling tired, five o'clock I'm tired, I'm thinking, God, it's still another two hours before our table's even booked yet. So I'm actually quite glad it is at 5.30. 
can just help a little bit. I'll pop some more on afterwards and then I use the oil in the ends of my hair as well. So that's all to come. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, the dream I know. This Christmas, I only want to be close to you. We're all ready, I think. I just literally need to do hair out, makeup. No, makeup's done. I might just pop on a bit of lip balm. I thought I'm trying to find a decent lighting because it's been so like warm and dark in there. Um, but yeah, this is my finished makeup. I just need to take out my hair and pop on a bit of lip balm at some point, which I'll probably do before I get there. Um, Mr. Barney Boo's been keeping me company, haven't you? <laughs> and yeah, get dressed. That's the only things left to do. And Lydia is en route. She's coming to mine first, so she'll be here any minute. Are you coming downstairs? You're not going to stay up there all night? Oh, I hate leaving you. I don't like it. It's pretty cosy in here. Um, right, so I think we'll just let this one out for a quick last wee. Give him his dinner. And head off. I'll probably get some clips when I get there. Like I said, it's a bit dark at the minute. Um, as you can tell, it's like pitch black. Can you hear that? It sounds like the door's knocking, but it's the wind. It's that windy out there that the door knocker, because we've got, because we've got reef on the door, it keeps slamming the door knocker. And it keeps, me, me and Barney keep on being like, is that someone at the door? No, it's not. It's not, no one's there, Barney. Right. He's holding. Open your